Yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with it really quick. Ooh, of course Pokemon um um journey is closer than stuff like that, of course. I had no idea where I was going that my video, so of course, really excited, really happy and stuff like that. Of course till we get the next episode with you. I'm so excited, I'm sorry for this episode. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm I'm just so excited for it. I will record it up a little bit when I can though, of course, because of just um because I'm I'm catching up on the bottom of the reviews I did for my channel. because uh, again I was leaning off because just there's so much I had so much to record back in what later earlier this year, January and February. It was insane. It was crazy, insane craziness though, of course. So but yeah, of course we get the next episode of review. It's insane, awesome, I love it, it's so good. I it's so simple, so easy to get done stuff done. So fast, it's it's legit crazy. Whew. Even though we still have the Paul episode, the Ash Greenwich episode, again, so much stuff. And of course, we got the climate floating of gadgets, you know, fighting Leon, fight. So, it's something that actually is kind of coming near again for this um, series, which is um, pretty good. That we could probably start focusing on Go and trying to get me and stuff like that because of the uh, Project Me stuff, though. But um, yeah, um, <clears throat> we stuff that going on, though, of course. So, yeah, let's get started, though, of course. Of course, we see the episode starting off with um, Chris and Ren talking about a little competition in Hawaii, of course, since a. talking about Sylveon, I believe, though. So, um, of course, Chloe's a little bit just interesting and stuff like that. Of course, actually, go already in Hoenn. So, yeah, of course, um, Chloe heads off there um, soon after. So, of course, she is about a little competition. We see Lisa. I think that is Wallace's daughter. I think the is Wallace's daughter. At this point, she just basically like him anyway, though. So, yeah. Uh, the teaser around. She's basically a big superstar. She's from Omega Ruby and Sapphire, the game, I believe. So, yeah, of course, she's super famous and stuff like that. Of course, she meets Chloe for the first time. Um, you know, since she entered the competition as well, we see Ashen Go, of course. Um, you know, catching up and stuff like that, of course, on what they're doing. Uh, of course, they're going to home just to catch Pokemon, just like and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, of course, they see um, Chloe on the big screen, of course, Lisa. So, of course, they're going to go decide to watch her and stuff like that, of course, her EV and everything, of course. But yeah, um, because she has her own, of course, you know, um, she gets a card for entrance and stuff like that. Of course, we see her Artaria, so of course. Um, I think it does make up evolve because I know the um, I'm I'm trying to, I don't think it does in this episode. I don't know, but I think it does make up evolve because of the games. Because the Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire did push Mega Evolution. That was around the same time, so why it did come out though? So yeah, then of course we see a little 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 hint of a character turning with the Sylveon into the port. Seems to remind me of a little bit of a. A little bit of a difference. So yeah, Serena. So of course, I didn't want to spoil it too much, but yeah, she's back in this episode. I love her design so much. Um, they did really well with her design. She has more curls on her face. Um, of course, uh, for her hair and stuff like that. Um, she, like, it seems like her. she just always kind of cut her hair, no matter what. Her hat is very much kind of like her older hat, just a little just gray and not black. Um, but yeah, of course, we see Chloe. I don't really forget like everybody does. It's good though, because it's kind of like how May... Um, Met Dawn in Sinnoh because of, or in, you know, Diamond Pearl because she was there at the port. Um, they were ready to meet her and stuff like that. Of course, we see, you know, we saw Glacier on there, we saw Sylvia on here. Again, really good hint of teasing May probably coming back though. I think Steven was also teased here as well. Because, you know, he's a champion of Owen, even though we broke his home in the Owen anyway, though. So, yeah. That's good. Again, like I said, a little May reference because, again, like I said, in Sinnoh, they do meet her at the port, and of course, they, um, Oh, see her and stuff like that, of course. So, of course, everybody's reaction in the show. That's going about that, by the way. It might, I don't know. I got so many the thunder ideas. Of course, they meet and stuff like that. Of course, we see um, um, the talk and stuff like that. Of course, we see Evie and Sylveon. Of course, meet for the first time. The teaser image that we saw, of course, like for for so long. Of course, we see how they met and stuff like that. Serena's journey, how she's been so far, and everything. Of course, how she met her Evie. But yeah, just getting like I said, just talking about it and stuff like that's really good though. It's good though. They bond like this stuff. So, of course, um, yeah, even a little, little, little burst on Serena. That's kind of cool. I just noticed that. As I'm recording this video, that's gonna cool. Her skirt's kind of like her um, X and Y skirt a little bit, just a lot more, a little more shorter. She has a leg from X and Y. I think her boots are in there as well. She has a plaid like um, a striped line slash you know red velvet or white and yellowish line. I think skirt this time around. So yeah, I like her design here. I really do like it though. Just like you know, typical Serena. Like this is her design change. I feel like they might give her another episode. This episode for her is really good. Good. Sorry, I'm losing my breath here. I'm so excited. But yeah, um, but yeah though, of course we see um. With them talk about like their journeys and stuff like that, of course, how they become. So of course, go on calls Chloe saying they're gonna be up and stuff like that, of course. But yeah. Um What's right here? So of course I'm actually going to meet with Wallace and stuff like that. Of course, I was talking about how I met him and everything. Again, they just want to hurry up to the arena, of course, as well as just catch the ass and stuff like that, of course. Um go explaining and stuff like that, of course, you know, May and Dawn, they tease him so hard. We already saw Dawn already. And she came back twice. The second episode wasn't that bad with the whole, you know, 
mirror versus stuff like that, even with the RCS art stuff, which I still can't review because I'm um, not those episode pieces at all. They use just Amazon exclusive, they never released it in Japan. I believe it's still just Amazon Prime Prime exclusive. Because I know all people reacted over it. Didn't really some people reviewed it, I remember. But yeah, of course Ash and, uh, of course I'm um, Ash. I also decided to battle each other, so of course they're, they're good just miss the whole entire competition and stuff like that, of course. Uh, for Chloe, the big um, the bit and Steven right here, of course. But yeah, again, little stuff like that, of course. You can see all the design here. It's it can, like I said, like oh like Obi Sapphire so you know, It was really good here though, of course. Uh, of course then they start the battle. Uh, we see the arena and stuff like that. Of course we see Chloe deciding what she wants to get. Uh Serena's helping her out a little bit, of course for Evie as well. Of course Chloe's just super nervous about it and stuff like that. Of course the Evie's just super super excited. Again, of course then they actually just missed going to the arena itself. Of course they had to feel watch the video all time phone. We see um Wallace battling the Swamp Bird. Of course we see um soon trans with their own gift book Kamali Breloom, uh Seal, uh Steel, Seal. Really wanna go with that. Of course we see Evie super excited about it, Chloe's super nervous again, doing much like Serena when she first started doing competitions and stuff like that. Of course, the whole reason Serena even went to Helen is to do basically competitions like May, which again I feel like they probably met already. Which makes sense because they're booking the contest in Dawn, like that's a triple threat and with Chloe, that's a quadruple threat right there. Um but Shauna, maybe Justin can come back too. I don't know. I thought like they can make that a whole girls kinda of like theme episode. They could that actually could be a Valentine's Day episode. I don't know. So of course though, um See him again, like I said, going on just talking about the um Chloe just being nervous and of course Serena showing up and stuff like that. Of course, as she's still focusing on his battle while Ghost catching them up with Chloe on her um on the horizontal phone and stuff like that. Of course, we see Ren, Chris, and of course the end um first release all um sworn Chloe via T V and stuff like that. Of course, she's just super nervous about everything. But she keeps finding all remembering every memory of um, all the EV evolutions, which is uh, pretty good though. I like it though. So of course, um they start to uh thought it was something. Of course, they actually start to, um, you know, see how Chloe is good, though. Everything she basically learned on her journey is coming here, which is really good. Like, I got to call next why everything you do is now is the time. So, basically, yeah, everything Chloe has been running up to, which is really, really good. That I've been reviewing so far, it's all been coming back and starts to be really, really good. Of course, um, go super happy for her while she's focusing on the battle more and more and more. Again, actually, it's more of a vaccine this episode to kind of focus on the battle. While, of course, you know, we see um, Serena with her new really involved Del Fox, of course, going and stuff like that. Of course, Pan Jim. Um, her still being on the stuff like, of course, just seeing, like, you know, how she, um, do her competitions and everything. Of course, though, again, really good, really simple, really easy and stuff like that. Of course, though, but yeah, um, really good there. My video's still gone. Okay, it's still gone. Sorry about that. Sorry about that little pause. But, of course, so my video cuts out, cuts out, whatever. I don't mind. I'll most of it anyway. So, of course, we see, um, uh, Wallace's son, oh, daughter, oh my boy. Uh, um, Lisa, I'm good Carl, Lisa. I know it's like L I S L I S. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. But yeah. Um of course we see her. Oh yeah, notification for Pokemon Go. Probably the Cloud Community stuff. That's coming up on Sunday. I mean tons of recording. Of course we actually see her oh yeah, Otaria Mega Ball. So yeah, just her and Otaria just going all out on her competition. Of course though uh, the competition is completely over now. Of course Ash blowing up walls the battle ends. Around the same time this ends, Ash gets a wallace badge slash cup on Little trophy piece right there, of course his little, you know, side fan. Of course we're gonna see an Ash trophy collection, of course going on. I just leave Wallace, of course, to go see um, how um, I think Lisa didn't want a competition though. It makes, makes sense, of course, we know so it's going to go back and see it anyway. So, of course, we see um, his daughter away, and of course, we see Wallace kind of go on. Of course, then, of course, Go starts to agree they got to start leaving now because you know, the whole competition and everything pretty much. So, of course, Ash goes as well. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, though, of course, they end up the episode giving off the reflections and final thoughts, of course, of the competition. Uh, Koi just usually just kind of like ass, of course, like how Serena always keeps smiling, going good through everything. Which does make sense because, of course, you know, Ash used to do that a lot, and of course, Serena is reflecting off that. How she met Ash on her journey. I'm sorry, I think I'm just hearing stuff lower, so yeah, of course. Again, I did have burned this episode really fast because I enjoyed it legitimately. It's probably it's my best Chloe episode, so sharing episode ever because Sharon Chloe, again, Serena didn't know what she wanted to do at first. Then, of course, Chloe's kind of seeing Serena's kind of seeing herself in Chloe a little bit, and of course, Chloe just sees the woman doing everything she loves. It just always asks like, well, how can she do it? How she, can she keep going and stuff like that? I actually do like it though, of course. And we see, um, Ash and Serena actually just kind of spot each other for a second. I kind of like that though, they, didn't, they don't really pay attention. I uh, go ask who she is and stuff like that. Of course, Ash and Serena meet once again. I do like it though, of course. Um, and stuff like that, of course, right here. Like the whole, like, them meeting each other again, which is really good though. I like it though. I feel like, I really feel like we can get another Serena episode since this one hit off so well. I feel like this will probably get really good reviewed in Japan and stuff like that, of course. Um, I like how it focuses on Sylveon and Serena though, so of course, it focuses off on Chloe and Evie as well, seeing each other inside of each other, 
a kind of like thing, like a mirror kind of thing though. But yeah, episode was really good. The way they brought Rocket Serena was really great. They didn't tease it. They made it completely a surprise, even though every dead body in her mom was rumoring it. They were over it and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, I did the episode fully. I loved it all the way through. I have no complaints, nothing at all. It was great, beautiful, awesome. I have no complaints. It was great. <sighs> like Chloe was good in this episode, Ash and Go. Again, we're sidetracked, stuff like stuff like that. Like Ash got to do what he did. About like Wallace getting like just all his hard drive and stuff like that. And Serena coming back being a big surprise, of course. We already knew again. So beyond was teased. Well that was Lisa's, but of course it was Serena's. Oh, I did like that one again, Chloe you know, basically being nervous, kinda of like how Serena was, basically doing everything on her journey like Serena did. She's kinda of like a Serena Clements episode a little bit. She doesn't know what to do. She's kinda of confused about it. Serena helps her out through the whole episode. I loved it. I think it was good. Everybody the moms can have the reviews out. Um Probably by the end again, we'll try to get, I'm trying to go like all the episodes in order. I think I have one more after this. It's like the raid episode I did. The, um, the ice and you know, our raid episode I did. Uh, I, 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 gotta, like, I haven't recorded it. I haven't edited it yet at all. But yeah, I enjoyed this episode. I loved it all the way through. All the characters were great. Serena was good. I love her new design. Probably way better than her old haircut design. Uh, it's very similar and different to her old one. But um, not the first one, but the, of course this one. Um, I loved it. Spring was good in this episode, of course. Uh, Chloe was good in this episode. As you go, everybody was great in this episode. So yeah, though, of course. See you guys later, though. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Great life. Oh, good job. Again, though, get somewhere safe, safe. Wash your hands. God bless. I'll be going out. Put on my mask. And talk to people really, really, too. Though, of course, though, um, get vaccinated if you can. You're still out there and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, uh, so it's still in toilet paper for me. I need that toilet paper, man. I need these videos to keep, keep going. So, what do you guys think about all of them? Though? Of course, do you like, do you hate it? Again, fairly simple, very easy. I just wanted to read this really fast. I know you guys can enjoy it, though. I enjoyed it. That was great. Beautiful. Awesome. I was so five stars. Best Chloe episode. Probably the best Jarrett's episode. I've probably seen so far, actually. I think it's probably my favorite one of my friends. Again, more QB coming with Ashburn Ninja episode, such a Cario episode. The Lucario finally Mega um, Stone episode. Probably number two, just because. It was animated so well. The Queen of Ash episode when they first meet each other again was so great when I reviewed that. Again, there's a lot of good hit, hit and misses for Journey. The Chloe episode where she was at EV, I love that one. The ending the screenshots I did so that was so beautiful in that episode. I got a lot of good ones on here, but I think this one might be my favorite though, because yeah, every Chloe episode was good. I know the twin episode was kind of blanky, you didn't get that much better, but then it went worse, so it was still good. Uh, it was decent, but I mean, yeah, again, you guys know what I'm saying, so yeah. See, that's another one, you know? So...